Thank you for checking out this unboxing video. This is for the August Fright Crate, which I think this is my fourth crate overall doing for Fright Crate. And as if you've been watching these uh, unboxings I've been doing of the Fright Crate, I've really been enjoying it. Um, a lot of good, creative, cool, handcrafted stuff in there. Uh, I do want to say real quick, first of all, this has been crazy. This is my third unboxing video this week. It just so happens that, you know, I got my old July Horror Bam Box. I got my August Horror Bam Box, and then now I'm getting the August Fright Crate. It's a lot of unboxings going on in one week, so this isn't typical. So there's probably going to be a big lull between now and my next one. Um, the other thing is I want to say real quick, uh, for the people who watch my unboxing of the August uh, Bam Box Horror Box, Thank you very much for the comments that people put on there saying, you know, I hope you're feeling better. I hope things are going well. Um, I really appreciate that. It, that was a rough day for me. Uh, the box did help to lighten my mood a little bit, and I am good. I, it was just a tough day, but uh, I'm doing well, and I really appreciate when people kind of make those comments, and they're like, I hope you're doing all right. Uh, it means a lot, it, so thank you very much. You, you know, you don't have to put comments like that, but um, you're very nice people for doing that, so thank you. Anyway, let's uh, get to the unboxing of this. I I remember, uh, I'm pretty sure I remember some of the franchises for this, and I remember this being a really good one. I think there was only like one franchise in it that I was like, eh, don't really care that much about that franchise, but I could see where, you know, plenty of people would. It's not like it's a bad franchise or anything, it's just like, for me personally, it's not one that's one of my favorites. Um got to do the quote real quick on here is stay true to what scares you if you don't respect that you can't scare anyone andres muschetti who was the director of the 2017 it very timely as it chapter two is out the reviews seem to be pretty mixed i uh, heard a lot of people saying they don't really like it so much especially in comparison to the first one but i've also just heard some people saying i re i heard it's really great so i don't know we'll see all right, so I'm going to do the shirt first because it's right on top. Oh, dude. Ooh I'm, ooh, I'm so amped about this. This is, mm, this is, oh. And it looks even better because I saw the face. I saw the face on this. This is one of my all-time favorite movies. Like, not just all-time favorite horror movies. All-time favorite movies. The Shining. Oh, God. Look at that. So I do have another Shining shirt, but this is better. I mean, the dripping blood on the axe, the face, like, it looks like Jack Nicholson. Like, that's just... And I love how it's, ju it's like, just blue and red, but the way it's employed is just... Ugh, so good. Yeah. That's, that's good. And this gets me even more excited. I'm going to wear this, actually, uh, my first weekend of October because I'm going to the Monster Mania uh, Horror Convention in Hunt Valley, Maryland, and they're going to have... Danny Lloyd uh, from The Shining, the woman who played the old crone uh, slash the sexy woman from the... Oh, no, she, she wasn't the old crone. She was the sexy version of the old crone in, um, in The Shining. And then the twins are going to be there as well. So these three, plus that, old, that now old lady, then young, good-looking lady, um, they're going to be there. So I'm excited about that. I think... Because of budgetary stuff, I think I'm just going to get Danny Lloyd's autograph. But I got to get someone because it's The Shining. And I'm going to wear this shirt. This shirt is this shirt is awesome. The shirt is awesome. I just got to say that much. Let me go to the pen real quick. Okay, so this is the franchise I knew that I wasn't all that excited about. Uh, but th this pin looks excellent. Which, you know, all the pins they've done I think have looked excellent. Everything they've done in, in this has looked excellent. All right, so here we go. Children of the Corn. Uh, my only problem with the... It's just a little bit hard to like really see it with the red and black background here, seeing as that it is red and black itself. So do the best you can. I'm sorry my hands are never like super stable. For people who don't know, I have a thing called a central tremor. It's a neurological situation where like my hands just shake uncontrollably. It's not like bad. Some days are worse than others, so there'll be some days where, like, doing my signature or, like, handwriting is a little tough. But um, it bothers other people more than me, like, when I'm handing them something. So that's just a quick explanation on it. But this looks good. Um, oh, I didn't notice that. That's the thing. Like, the colors are kind of dark, so it's kind of see a lot hard to see a lot of the intricacies on this. But there's, like, some extra stuff. If you see, like, there's, there's another character right there. 
and there's some like it's like a cornstalk cross or something down in the corner so um i mean it's cool i like the design i think just for the col the colors are so dark i think it'd be better if you put it against like something lighter like i have a cork board this on the cork board it would be easier to see the detail of it up against the cork board so you know all good um so i'm gonna leave that there's like a larger piece in here and I, i'm gonna leave that for now i'm gonna try and do that last uh here's a coaster return of the living dead coaster okay nice actually i know this is another one of these things i just saw return of the living dead for the first time this year i know a lot of people are probably hearing me say that and they're like what <laughs> what is wrong with you i have to catch up i have like so many movies that I haven't seen, and I'm working on it. Come back, check back in with me in about five years, and I will have seen, like, all the essentials, pretty much. Uh, one of my problems is, like, I'll watch uh, movies that it's just the first of them, and I won't watch sequels a lot of the time, because there are just so many movies I want to get to. That I'm just like, well, the first one's the most important, so on to the next thing. But things like Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Phantasm things like that but i've only seen the first i've only seen the first the third and the most recent halloween i'm sorry i know that's probably another thing that people are like you make any sense i'm sorry <laughs> all right let's go with the next thing yeah that coaster's cool by the way um oh is this an autograph oh dude it is oh this is a good autograph too um miguel nunez jr yes dude from the return of the living dead to go along with the coaster oh god that art piece is really nice who did this art piece um it's brought to you by mintic authentics guaranteed authentic and will pass any third party inspection because there's a certificate of authenticity back here with spiders the guy who played spider um sorry again miguel nunez jr uh picture of him from the movie that's a good that's that's not just a good autograph. That is quite a good autograph, in my opinion. And this art is awesome. Um, yeah, that art's awesome. Like, obviously, Tarman. Everyone remembers Tarman and loves Tarman from Return of the Living Dead. Uh, such a great design. Looks amazing. Like, the detail on that's really nice. Let me just get a, like, a closer look on that. Sorry for the ring light interfering. God, it just looks good. It looks really good. God, this box is already, like awesome oh there's another coaster in here oh it's just uh, another one of the same oh cool so we get two coasters i like that i'm down okay it looks like maybe an i don't know what that's for oh is that to just like to make sure that this lays flat might be that's a good idea i dig it okay and then the last thing is like the bigger thing i assume this is the sculpted piece from cereal resin co um all those pieces have been really good thus far so pretty excited Ooh, i think i know what franchise this has to be from then i hope i'm not wrong i think i know <laughs> yes yes oh man this is exciting i'm trying not to get like foam everywhere because it's like in a foam coffin of sorts well i mean it's just gonna happen i guess this is so i love this movie it's actually been a little bit since i watched it but it's on my list to watch this October because I do 31 horror films throughout the month of October. So I intentionally put this on my list because I was like, um, it's been a while and I really like this movie. So Killer Clowns from Outer Space, man. Look at this. Look at this with the ray gun. This is very, oh, this is very nice. Darren Mitchell does outstanding work. I, I'm assuming this is him because he does like all the resin pieces. Uh, for this box like look at the detail like the colors on that ray gun even i mean the paint job the sculpt job is great the paint job is outstanding in my opinion it's very good very impressed i really like this um <laughs> this, this is a nice display piece this is a really nice display piece good job darren jesus and and jay stevens good job he's the guy who runs this box if you don't know all right, so the uh, the card giving us information about everything. Exclusive Return of the Living Dead autograph. Truth be, be told, we at Fright Crate have always been fans of Miguel Nunez Jr. We are so excited to have him in the box for the, his role as Spider in this iconic movie. 
Exclusive art by Max Cave. Okay, Max Cave did the artwork. That artwork is it's it's really good. I think Max Cave has done artwork for their shirts too. And maybe did the artwork for this shirt. Exclusive Shorty Bust from Killer Clowns. Brought to you by Serial Resin Co. This mischievous intergalactic clown is going to zap his way into your hearts. Isn't he adorable? Actually, I mean, he is kind of adorable, actually, in a sense. Because he's, like, smiling. He's, you know, there's not blood on him or anything. So, SerialResinCo.com if you want to check out what is available for sale from Serial Resin Co. The Overlooked Shirt from The Shining. All work and no play makes Jack a doll boy. Exclusive artwork by Max Cave. Okay, yes, he did that as well. Take a trip on a descent into madness, acts not included. Uh, Max Cave, you're amazing. So Darren Mitchell, Jay Stevens, and Max Cave, ridiculous. It's like the, the, the trifecta dream team to make this box what it is. It's pretty awesome. Uh, Children of the Corn exclusive pin. Everything's exclusive to this box. Don't fall for Isaac's gaze. This pin is one one point seven five inch soft enamel double post. That is key double post, so it keeps it whatever direction you put it, so it doesn't just spin because it's on one. Uh, and then the exclusive return of the living coaster set, coaster set inspired, ins bleh, bleh. coaster set inspired by the film. Why is that so hard? Drink up. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna give you what the proper what the franchises are gonna be for next month for the uh, well for the month we're in for September, but I will unbox it next month. But first, I want to say a few things because then people can cut it off if you don't want to know if you want to go in totally blind for the next one. Uh, so please, please help me out. Hit that subscribe button if you like anything I do, the unboxings, all my movie reviews, which I have a lot of movie reviews up. I've been trying to do more. I'm actually on the media list for uh, Shudder. So Shudder has actually been offering me some, um, well, what do they call it? Some screener links. So uh, it's password protected links to watch movies before they hit Shudder. And I'm trying to do reviews on those. I also had another company reach out to me recently. Uh, I'm going to be doing a screener of, of a horror documentary about horror in the 80s. I believe it's called In Search of Darkness. Uh, but I'm ironing that out right now. I don't know when I'm going to get the screener. Uh, but trust, when I do, I will watch it and I will make sure that I put a review out. So, like I said, please hit that subscribe. It's a way to pay me back. I don't make money on any of this stuff. It's a hobby. But you can just pay me back by being like, hey, subscribe. Because it's encouraging for me. And I love it. Put some comments down there. Do you like this box? I don't think there's a reason you shouldn't. But <laughs> maybe you don't. I don't know. Um, did you get it? What were your thoughts? Uh, and just talk about these franchises what do you think are you appalled by my lack of some of these uh, horror films i've seen <laughs> you probably are anyway um okay so thank you everyone so turn it off now if you don't want to know what the franchises are for next month okay those people are gone now it's just you and i it's just me and and all you other people out there uh okay so for the september box it's going to be it chapter two all for it 13 ghosts okay a lot of people, like, when 13 Ghosts came out, like, everyone just panned on it and was just like, eh, it's not that good. I remember seeing it in the theater and being like, I re really quite like it. I know it's a remake and I haven't seen the original, but I thought the remake was done pretty well. Plus, Matthew Lillard is in it, and I have a soft spot for Matthew Lillard. I love him in everything he's done, pretty much. I know it's a weird thing. He is also going to be at that Monster Mania convention in Hunt Valley, so that's another autograph I'm getting. Um... So, excited about 13 Ghosts in there. Stranger Things. Uh, obviously, everyone loves Stranger Things. Amazing. A mystery horror Blu-ray. That sounds awesome to me. I'm always down to have more horror Blu-ray. And just to, it'll be just in time to be watching for my 31 movies in October. And then Saw. I love Saw. Um, not all of them, obviously. Uh, I got sucked in on the very first song when it came out. I fell in love with that film. A lot of people did. And I like it through four, basically. One, two, three, and four actually like, um, it's, you know, it's diminishing returns. But, uh, then after that, it's still okay. I mean, I'll still watch all the way through. And actually back here, I don't know if you can see, like right here, that's one of the Saw movies. I have a, like a lineup of them right there, of whatever Saw movies I have. I think I only have... I only have the first four, because those are the ones I like the most. But anyway, thanks again. Another reminder, hit that subscribe, help me out, put some comments down there. If you want to do a thumbs up, you can do it, but you don't have to. But thanks for checking this out, and until next time, keep it brutal.